snowed out there right now. Like, yeah, 77 inches. Come on. 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 And then we're securing the scene. We're now going to do a blood sweep. Where's our arm we need? I'm performing a blood sweep. All right. So, we've seen an inguinal injury. We're going to first. Does he have an amputation? Leg from? No, no, no. The airway is patent. The patient is unconscious. He's moaning. I'm going to have to put an NPA because I want to make sure his airway stays open. I'm worried about his ability to keep it open. the nose, evaluate for obstructions. All right, we're gonna place it firmly in student. The reflex intact. Thanks. All right, we're gonna move to a crank. All right, we're gonna perform a crank with our anatomy. Am I doing it on this guy here? I'm happy to do that. We are going to identify the site, mark it. Okay. I'm going to take my scalpel. I'm going to locate the position. Confirm it with my non-dominant hand. I'm going to open my scalpel blade. I'm going to make one inch vertical incision. Reassess. I'm going to make a horizontal incision. Finding patency in the hole. I'm now going to my cricoid hook. It's really a trach hook. Put it down here. Pull it back. And I'm going to place this with our arm trailer in, down towards two. You'll say ghost one. It's frequency and call sign. Yeah, two, yeah, yeah. two lima. No. Um, tree is two alpha. They're both American service members, right? Who are? Um. There's one patient each. You got to drive them to where we take you. You guys got all your gear? Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I was gonna get a close look at it. He's actually breathing. All right, first we check for bleeding. Do a quick sweep. Be careful, you might get bit. Ooh, we got a muzzle. <laughs> All right, this is for you, really, not for me. He doesn't like it. This is so cool. Okay, check for bleeding. You good? Yeah, I think so. He's trying to bite me, he can't. It's all right, buddy, you're okay. Okay, each other. See one here in the stomach? Right side? Over here? Bleeding? Yeah, right here on the side. Okay. You're gonna turn let's, him over? Um, yeah, let's roll him. Like I said, this is a hot area. Oh, we should move him to a safer spot? Is there a safer spot that I am aware of? Alright, let's lay him down left side up. Apply pressure. On you. Apply pressure. Get some combat guys. Couldn't pack that. Okay. I'm gonna finish blood sweep. I see something on the floor here. Right here. Feel any more blood? Yeah. 
chirping and hissing noises coming from the chest room. Three, four, five, six, seven, and the axillary line. Okay. To apply the needle chest decompression, we find the seventh intercostal space, perpendicular to the chest, bring in three inches, move it so it's a little more parallel. If you hear a hissy sound, if you don't hear a hissy sound, try it again. If you hear a hissy sound, yes, like air flying out. Right here. Right here. That's fine. You uh, you hit the right spot. You hear air coming out. What's the next step? All right, we're gonna move it towards the upper. Extend the catheter down. You see that his right and fallen chest is uneven still. Is his airway open? He might go. Go. 